The United States and Saudi Arabia have long shared a concern about Iran's nuclear ambitions and its destabilizing activities in the Middle East. But experts say Saudi Arabia wants the U.S. to take a tougher stance. Riyadh believes Iran's attack on Saudi oil facilities last September drew only a tepid response from Washington. This is just one of the concerns Saudi officials are expected to bring up in talks with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, says Middle East expert Bader al Saif. And that has sent the alarms off for the Saudis that they need to act alone to preserve their security. And I think the visit by Pompeo will be along those lines. The killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in January by a U.S. missile strike raised the stakes for conflict in the region. The Saudis, says Al Saif, have signaled they want a voice in any decision the U.S. takes going forward. The U.S. understands that they cannot forge a block against Iran without the cooperation of the Saudis. They are a regional hegemon as well, and they need to be treated as equally. The war in Yemen between Iran-backed Houthi rebels and government forces supported by Saudi Arabia continues to be a source of friction with Washington. Congress has pressured the Trump administration to withdraw military aid for Saudi Arabia in an effort to reduce violence in Yemen. Congress also has opposed aid to Saudi Arabia after the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi inside a Saudi consulate in Turkey. But Saudi Arabia's human rights record is not likely to be a major obstacle to its relations with the Trump administration. Human rights was not a priority, uh, was never a priority in the Saudi-U.S. relationship under this administration. And it's not a priority for the Trump administration and the region in general. It is not just particular to Saudi Arabia. More than 500 days after Khashoggi's death, Saudi authorities have not released details of the investigation or the ensuing trial. Professor Al Saif cautions against supplying Western standards when it comes to assessing human rights in Saudi Arabia. They do have their own definition of what human rights are, and they would adhere to it. This is not unique to Saudi Arabia. We've, hear, we've heard the same thing happen in Russia, in China, and other non-Western contexts as well. The U.S. administration is also looking for Saudi engagement in support of its Israeli-Palestinian peace plan, which is strongly opposed by the Palestinians. It remains unclear what support Saudi Arabia can offer to convince the Palestinians to come to an agreement. Ardita Dunelari, VOA News, Washington.